There are a lot, and I emphasize a lot, of things that you can say about Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon is the biggest name in wrestling promotion history, bar none, period. No argument can logically be had, period. He's the most successful wrestling promoter of all time. Again, cannot be argued, period. He's the most successful sports entertainment promoter, whatever the fuck, even though he's in wrestling, what have you. There's no doubt that he is the most successful person in the history of wrestling, period. The most successful. You throw any name up there on the list, he is more successful than all of them. You can argue that in today's wrestling environment, the number one name you think about when it comes to wrestling, good, bad, or otherwise, the default name is Vince McMahon. It may not be true for everybody, but for a lot of people, it always funnels to Vince and it always goes to Vince. But more than that, Vince was the key cog in the Monday Night Wars, the key cog in the Attitude Era. As much as you want to talk about the Austins and the Rocks and all the other great talent that they had, the linchpin for everything that that company did during that era was Vince McMahon. From a creative standpoint, Vince McMahon. From an on-screen character presence standpoint, Vince McMahon. Everything funneled through to him. Everything went through him. He was the dude. And I also don't think that could be argued. Vince McMahon is the greatest heel in professional wrestling history. That also cannot be argued. Both as an on-screen presence and in real life. Who is a bigger heel all around? And don't take the easy way out and say like a superfly Jimmy Snuka for killing Nancy Argentino allegedly or Chris Benoit and what he did. Let's be realistic here. When you talk about wrestling related shit, there is no bigger heel in the history of professional wrestling than Vince McMahon. That is an absolute fact. And you can tell with Vince, just how big his star presence and his star power is. Because the same people that will bitch about him and complain about him will sit there and mark out and pop like fucking crazy whenever Vince's music hits and Vince comes out. It's a weird, interesting dynamic. Like, you know, even in his mid-70s, when the boss comes out, Business, as JR used to say, is about to pick up. That's the type of command star presence that a Vince McMahon has. And even in his advanced years, while he is not exactly what he once was, a bit of a shell of himself, it's kind of a sad state of affairs when you think about just how much more star presence and charisma and everything else he has still compared to most of the rest of the damn roster. So I can understand the temptation to want to involve Vince McMahon in something on television, involve Vince McMahon in something involving um, WrestleMania. I get it. Leverage that star power while you still have it. Because who knows how much longer Vince McMahon is going to be around, how much longer he's going to be in charge, and all of that. But the one thing we don't need to be seeing is a 76-year-old Vince McMahon in the ring wrestling at WrestleMania. Now, I grant you, Vince McMahon as an in-ring performer is underrated. While certainly not a technical magician or a technical artiste, wasn't going to do a lot of chain wrestling, Vince McMahon always had a couple of things going for him. The ability to understand how to get and maintain heat during a match. Knowing how to really work. Not the moveset bullshit, but actually work. Work the story of the match. Work the opponent. Work the crowd. Few better in history than Vince McMahon. 
And you also knew at the end of the day that when all the chips were on the line, Vince would do whatever the hell he needed to do to get his shit over, to get his opponent over, to get his match over. He would do it. Like, this crazy son of a bitch. And he had that ability, especially when you're talking about the Mr. McMahon heel character. In the ring, you believed he was a sick, sadistic son of a bitch, and he would do it. Like, that's the genius of the Mr. McMahon character. But at age 76, we don't need to see Vince McMahon in a wrestling ring anymore. No. That was bad enough at WrestleMania 26 with him and Brett. And I know he had to slow it down a lot because it was Brett and blah, blah, blah. But that was 12 damn years ago and Vince was already in his early 60s. A 76-year-old Vince McMahon wrestling at WrestleMania is the reports that you're seeing. Why? And potentially taking on a Pat McAfee of all damn people? Why? I have no problem with Pat McAfee having a match at WrestleMania. Again, WrestleMania needs all the life, the spice, the juice it can fucking get. And Pat McAfee being in a program and having a match at WrestleMania gives that show some damn life and juice again that it desperately needs. But him versus Vince McMahon just feels fucking weird, man. Feels like it's out of left field. It's almost out of nowhere. I wonder, like, is this something where you had maybe envisioned months ago it was going to be Triple H, and then Triple H had the cardiac event, so he can't do it? Maybe. Was it very likely that this was going to be the Shane McMahon spot, and Shane McMahon would take on somebody like a Pat McAfee at WrestleMania? You know what? If that was the case, you could have signed me the fuck up for that match. As we know, McAfee's legit, and Shane will do whatever the fuck he needs to do with his body in order to get the shit over. Those two, facing off against each other, you eliminate some of the bitching about, oh, taking up a spot, and no, they're working their own damn match. Oh, when are these guys going to have the job? You don't really care. Like, you could do a lot of different things. That shit would have had some appeal to me. That would have been a match that would have worked on this WrestleMania card. Big time, in my opinion. But if we're going to Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon? What's he going to do? He's going to try and jump off the top rope and tear both of his quads and both of his triceps at the same time? Go big or go home. WrestleMania moment, bitches. Like, do you want to see a 76-year-old Vince McMahon bumping around in the ring anymore? I certainly do not. Do you want to see a Vince McMahon working a match at WrestleMania, working it like a 76-year-old man? I certainly do not. I don't want to see a Vince McMahon wrestle and be a shell of his former self because there's almost a sad, tragic element to that. I also don't want to see you burn a Pat McAfee WrestleMania match if the reports are accurate. Working with Vince McMahon. There are bigger, better things you could probably do with McAfee at your biggest show of the year. Now again, I get the temptation here. WrestleMania needs star power. Vince brings as much star power. No, let me, let me rephrase that. I mean, no disrespect to the tribal chief. Acknowledge him all day long. No disrespect to a Brock Lesnar or a Bobby Lashley, but even at 76 years of age, the biggest star by far that the WWE has is Vince McMahon. If all of the roster walks into a room and then Vince McMahon walks into a room, who does your attention gravitate to? It's Vince McMahon. He has that type of command presence, and I understand completely wanting to think about having this involved in the biggest show of the year in some way, shape, or form, but no is no is no! We don't need to see it. We don't have to see it. Most importantly of all, we don't want to see it. If this is the path that you're choosing to go down, you've still got a month plus to change your mind. Do something different. This does not need to go down like this. No, 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 no. 
If you want to go down a different path and say this is a big swerve, and as much as I hate to say this fucking name, but you were going to say it might have been Vince McMahon, but in his place, he's going to select somebody at WrestleMania to surprise appearance of Cody Rhodes. That could fucking work. At least it's not a 76-year-old Vince McMahon wrestling a damn match at WrestleMania. No disrespect, but uh-uh. We don't need no more of that shit. You're going to sit there the entire time with this cringe kind of awkward feeling. Not because you're wondering what Vince is going to do, but you're wondering whether Vince is going to make it out in one piece. Nah. Vince McMahon wrestling at Mania is a hard, hard pass for me.